Okay. I got this priority mail package uh, from Amazon. Let's see what it is. Forgive me if I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do everything with one hand. Fun bubble wrap. I love it. All right, coming from the bubble wrap is the Texas Instruments TI 553. This is from the 80s. I think this particular calculator was manufactured in 1987. See the angle screen bevel for the screen? Yeah. It is a programmable calculator. Not one with many steps in it. Um, pretty much minimal. Uh, learn, reset, single step. It does have integration, by the way. It's got conversions. Um, since it's Texas Instruments, it's AO AOS, not um, RPN. You can see it's pretty much used because the uh, equals key is gone but I know what it is and thank thank goodness for the internet you can download manuals now thank you uh, data math and this is coming from Amazon I ordered about a week ago uh, from 442.15 and I thank you very much um, you're gonna see this calculator be featured in uh, upcoming blogs this summer of 2016 Notice the shift keys, second, and inverse. So inverse takes care of the arc cosine, arc tangent, arc sine, and the exponential, and 10 to the x um, functions. And also, the rectangular to polar, that being counted as the inverse of polar to rectangular. As you can see by the uh, red type on the keyboard, the TI-55-3 has linear regression. If you execute mean or the deviations, you just press the exchange key to get X and Y. Also correlation, I believe this has A plus BX um, linear regression. And the predictors. You also got some neat um, conversions: uh, gallons to liters, pounds to kilograms, inches to centimeters. So, for example, uh, one inch is 2.54 centimeters. If I press inverse second on that conversion, I go from centimeters to inches. Also, temperatures like if I had 50 degrees Fahrenheit, I convert to Celsius by second, which is 10 degrees Celsius. If I had 33 degrees Celsius, I want to go to Fahrenheit, I go second inverse uh, F to C, and turns out that conversion is 91.4 degrees Fahrenheit how to put the TI-55-3 into programming mode all I have to do is make a partition to allow programming steps so second partition and I'm gonna put one that shows me I got 56 steps and one memory register as long as I got programming steps I can do programming of course and I've done a program for you the area of a circle where you take the radius Square it and multiply it by pi. Pretty simple program. Here are the codes. I'm going to press the reset button and then the learn just to show you that the steps are in there. Single step. Pretty simple. I'm going to go back out of learn mode. Press reset to set the pointer back to zero. And let's say that the radius is 2.5. Hit run stop and I get the area of 19.634954. So that's basic programming for the TI-55-3.
So, as long as you've got memory partitioned for programming, and I'm assuming not a lot of statistics, if any at all, you'll be able to program formulas and short programs in there. The good news is we have the sine function, fraction, and an integer, and absolute value. Uh, plus the permutation and combination, so that will help out. So look for future blog entries that will feature the TI-55-3. Uh, I'm planning to work on this calculator and other calculators from the 80s um, this summer. I've already done a couple of them on the Radio Shack EC-4004, the HP-71. I'm going to work with this one, the TI-65, and then possibly the HP-42S. Thank you very much for watching this video. You can check out my blog about calculators and math at edspie31415.blogspot.com. Thank you and have a great day.